good afternoon viewers today we are looking at another topic in social study for gss3 that has to do with human trafficking human trafficking it will be necessary for us to know the objective of this topic we are going to be looking at the meaning of human trafficking we will go ahead to look at factors that make people to involve themselves in human trafficking we shall be looking at the consequences of human trafficking and ways to prevent human trafficking by starting let us know the meaning of trafficking trafficking in women and children is clearly both a human rights and a development issue as we all know that in our society today, the level of insecurity is on the high side. And some people, due to certain reasons, they are involving themselves in human trafficking. And these people are interested in women and children. So it is an ongoing issue that is affecting the society today. Now, human trafficking is illegal recruitment, transportation, transfer, harboring, or sales of human beings into all forms of false labor and servitude, including trafficking into false marriage. You will agree with me that the rates of insecurity and the rates of crime in our society is on the high side and it is simply because there are some group of people that traffic human beings they will deceive them that they have work for them and at the end of the day they will find themselves in a in an environment that they don't plan for in a situation that is messy so we need to understand that all these are ongoing for us to take precaution so that we will not fall a victim. Human trafficking is another form of modern slavery. So you need to understand that when some people are inviting you to come and take up a job that you are not sure of, you have to be very careful so that you don't end up find yourself in a danger zone. Also, human trafficking, as it is being generally called, can be regarded as modern slavery. Therefore, it is an illegal practice. Now, what are the factors responsible for children and women trafficking? The following factors are responsible. Bad economy. You see, a lot of people, they cannot afford three scare me because the economy is bad and it's really affecting the development of the society. Crave for wealth. Some individuals, they want to make it by force, by any means. They just want to be wealthy. Then poverty is another factor when people cannot, you know, meet up with their day-to-day -day activities. So they tend to go into criminal arts. Unemployment, a lot of people, a lot of graduate, uh, graduate, they have no work. Some people three years, four years, five years, they're at home, not doing anything. Peer group influence. So due to peer groups, the people you move with, the people you, know, you relate with, and if some of these people are bad people, they can influence you negatively. And we also have greed. Some people, they have money, but they are greedy. They still need more. So they involve themselves in a human trafficking. Now, lack of steep punishment for traffickers. You see, sometimes when government even arrest them, they don't punish them to serve as a lesson for others, not to go into it. So because of this, it's increasing the porous borders. Our border is porous by so saying that they don't check the people coming in, so or people going out. Our borders are porous. The immigration officers 
the law enforcement agencies at the borders. They are not actually doing what they are supposed to do. If they are thorough in their job, they will be able to apprehend this set of people and with this it will reduce. Now what are the consequences of children and women trafficking? The first thing is that it increases the level of illiteracy. Children are supposed to be in school. They will not be able to go to school to learn. They will be hawking, selling things from one point to the other. It also causes human rights violation. They will make you not to enjoy your fundamental human rights. Then it as well causes psychological trauma. You see, when a child is taken or a woman is taken to hard labor, you know, farming or even into producing children, you see, such an individual will be having psychological trauma. The, such a person will not be able to think normally. Then there is tendency to contact HIV AIDS. You don't know the status of the person that is going to sleep with you for you to produce children. So you can contact HIV AIDS through that person. Then it retards child growth. It will not allow the child to grow normally because the kind of water the child will be drinking, the kind of food they will be serving, you know, all these are consequences of children and women trafficking. It also dents the nation image. It spoils the image of the nation. Then it can lead to deaths because that will be the final uh, point for anybody undergoing stress, you know, undergoing maltreatment and what have you. Then it has also caused sexual abuse and harassment. All these are the consequences of children and women trafficking. Now, how can we prevent this? Prevention of uh, human trafficking. Number one, there should be stiff punishment. Government should be ready to punish as many offenders and make them serve as a scapegoat, make them serve as an example so that other people will not go into that kind of dirty business because they see it as business to make money in making other people suffer. Then there is need for compulsory education. You will believe with me that some areas in our country, Nigeria, most especially in the northern part, they don't go to school. So government should make education compulsory for everybody in Nigeria so that they will be able to have knowledge and that will help them to be able to not fall a victim of uh, human trafficking. Then in our legislative, they should include it in their law. There should be appropriate legislation. They should include it in the law that whoever that involved themselves in human trafficking, maybe it's death penalty or life imprisonment, they should include it and that will help. Then there is need for public enlightenment, just the way I'm doing now. I'm educating our learners, our viewers to know that these are going on in the society. So that everybody should be careful. So that there is need for public enlightenment. Then there should be tight security at the borders. Our immigration officers, law enforcement agencies, they should do their work. They should check people coming and going out to ensure that they don't traffic human beings. Then in our curriculum, they should include it. Thank God it's included in the curriculum, and that is why we are discussing it. Assuming it's not included in the curriculum, we'll not be discussing it. So other schools, other educators should also involve this in their curriculum. Improvement of the economy. So government should ensure that they improve the economy of our country. Because when they improve the economy of our country, everybody is engaged, then they will not have time for all these messy activities. Then there is need for proper upgrading of children. Parents have a lot to do as well. Parents should upgrade their children in the fear of the Lord. They should give them necessary training that they need to become useful members of the society. And at the same time, it will help them to become important. Thank you for listening. 
I want to believe that we are aware now of the activities, the criminal activity that is going on that has to do with human trafficking, which is also known as modern slavery, so that we'll be able to be careful and prevent it from continuing in our society. Thank you once again. I expect you to watch out for the next topic. Thank you.